November marks Native American Heritage Month, a time to recognize all of the contributions the first Americans made to the establishment and the growth of the U.S. It is also a time to reflect on the challenges the community faces. Tonight, we are looking at a dark past in the lives of Native Americans in North America that has been recently uncovered and is drawing renewed focus on the horrific history of Native American boarding schools in the U.S. It's a painful part of American history that often goes untold. In the 19th and 20th centuries, the U.S. established federally funded boarding schools aimed at assimilating hundreds of thousands of Native American children, forcibly taking them from their families and stripping them of their culture. There was a lot of horrific things that happened to myself and I know a lot of other individuals that were in that school system. The horrors laid bare with the discovery last June of 215 unmarked graves outside of an indigenous children's school in Canada, which had adopted similar policies as the U.S. We talked when we were in school um, about um, some people that went missing, and it was assumed that uh, they ran away and um, we're never going to come back. My mother is a um, boarding school survivor. Kent State adjunct professor Kimberly Medicine Horn Jackson is now part of a research team tasked with uncovering the horrific histories at these schools in the U.S. And we're running against time. Our elders who went to the boarding schools, they're, they're crossing over daily. And we're losing the truth of what happened there were 357 known boarding schools, many operated by Catholic and Protestant churches. Here, Native children were forced to abandon their language, their traditions, and culture. Was this ethnic cleansing? According to the Geneva Convention on Genocide, the Native American boarding schools fall into all 10 categories of genocide. But now, leading the way in the top levels of government. Now, for the first time, this country has a cabinet secretary who is indigenous. Secretary of the Interior Deb Holland launched the Federal Indian Boarding School Initiative to investigate the full scope of U.S. policies and their effects. The removal of history in our books. That's a method of Indian removal. Speaking the untold truth only until then. Can healing begin? How can we ever heal? How can we ever do things differently if we don't take the time to listen to what happened? And just last week, researchers identified more than 50 Native children who died at a boarding school in Nebraska that closed in 1934. But they said the true death toll is probably much higher.